All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So last night we did GDP, kind of the one that a very similar process here is when we calculate CPI or the Consumer Price Index. However, major difference here. When we did GDP, you were thinking about, we were trying to figure out how a country's productivity changed over time, their quantity of output. Here, when we do CPI, the Consumer Price <laughs> Index, we are looking not to see how the quantity of output changes, but how the price changes. All right? So that's going to make a big, big, big difference. Because yesterday, we held the prices nice and constant so that we could see what was happening to the quantity numbers. Here, we want to know what's happening to the price. So we got to let the price change so that we can see how it changes over time from year to year. So we are going to need constant quantities here. Uh, that is something that kids have uh, sometimes a hard time remembering. So when we want to know what's happening in the price, we need a constant quantity. Well, what quantity are we going to use? We have two goods here, rice and toilet paper. Well, just what is going to be the quantity we use? Well, I need to give you a base year to figure that out. We are going to do base year number one. So this right here is going to be our base year. Now, I just messed this up when I made this problem, so don't make my mistake here. So you've got to be really, really clear with yourself. So what quantities are we going to use in every single year? The quantity of rice we will use will be one. I am doing this, and I messed this up just a second ago. I went through and I used all the different quantities when I did this. Don't do that, okay? Put a circle around it, whatever you got to do. And the quantity for toilet paper that we're going to use is going to be five. This is said to be our market basket, what we have in our basket. We are always going to have five things of toilet paper and one thing of rice, okay? Always, 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 that's what we're going to have. Uh, now, over time, this should change, but for CPI, we keep it constant so that we can see what happens to the, again, price. So what we have to do first, we got to figure out how much the basket is going to cost uh, one piece of rice and five pieces of toilet paper. Well, for the first one, we're going to do one times two plus five times two. And we will get, uh, let's see, that looks like two plus ten is twelve. Now, here, when we do this one, it's not going to be two times four. That's what I just did. Don't do that. Uh, this is a one. And if you need to put one all the way down through, you go ahead and do that. Same thing here. This is going to be five, five. The six and the seven, the two and the three are meant to confuse you, and they will confuse many of you. Please don't be one of those people. Uh, so for here, it's going to go one times four plus five times four, which that looks like 20, and that looks like four, which to me equals 24. Here we're going to do one times six plus five times six, which looks like 30 plus 6, which equals 36. Now again, another reminder, I think I mentioned this when we were talking about midpoint method the other day. You don't have a calculator. So if you are doing this and the numbers are coming out to be like 73 and a half or 52.6, there, there's probably something amiss here. They're probably going to give you pretty easy, malleable numbers. Now a lot of times kids will stop right here and say, oh, I'm done. No, you are not. So we got to figure out CPI. Well, what you got to do? You got to take the basket in the current year, put it over the base year, multiply it by 100. Well, let's see. For year number one here, our basket price is 12. That is the current year. The base year also happens to be year one. So the bottom is going to be 12 times 100 which equals 100. Now you'll notice the base year, the basket year base price, or the, let's try that again. The basket price in the base year, you'll notice, is always 12. So you can go down, you can go down through, I did not do a very good job making that fraction. Uh, and always make the bottom 12, 
So you're gonna put your current basket year price, 24 times 100. Anybody? 200. This should be 36 over 12, which equals 300. And again, the CPI should come out pretty easily for you here. So that's how you calculate CPI. Um, I'm going to come back in just a second. I'm going to do a little inflation uh, exercise for you. Uh, if you have questions, as usual, ask them. Uh, have a good night.